For NASCAR fans, the roar of the engine ignites something within them. It's the great American sport. The smell of gasoline, the drama, and yes, it's macho men. Then there's 23-year-old Kenzie Rustin. So this is her here. Yeah, this is her. She's a beauty. She is a beauty. Number 96. Kenzie's just one of three female drivers competing in the KN Pro Series East race at Dover International Speedway. The car does not know if you're a female or a male. But other people do. Yeah, do you notice that running. everybody's kind of staring at us? Oh, it's always. All the guys? Yeah, it's always, I feel like. Because there's not very many women, so it's kind of, they don't see it a lot, you know? <laughs> Yet, she's not focused on them. Today, she has to race on a track known as the Monster Mile. Its shape and sharp turns make for some of the toughest driving in the world. You get a little, little overwhelmed when you come to a place like this. But Kenzie has always embraced challenges. When I first started off racing, I was racing against little boys, mm -hmm. you know? And I feel like they never wanted to get beat by a little girl. It's that saying, you <laughs> exactly. got beat by a girl. Exactly. Men always drove cars. For a long time, men didn't feel like women belonged in the sport. Most of the guys here have been groomed for racing since they were little boys. I didn't start racing until I was 14. And a lot of kids start when they're five, six years old. So I kind of got a late start compared to a lot of kids. One of the guys came up to my dad and was like, hey, your son's really good. If, if he had like a setup and cut tires and stuff, I feel like he'd do pretty good. And he was like, uh, that's not my son, that's my daughter. Drivers and Danica. Start your engines! Danica Patrick is currently the only Which woman racing in the like Sprint Cup Series, like NASCAR's major league. Make some noise for Danica Patrick! There's only been 40 female drivers in NASCAR's history, starting with Sarah Christian in 1949. In the 1970s, racing legend Janet Guthrie completed 33 races, more than any other woman in history. Shauna Robinson became the first woman to win a NASCAR race in 1988. Today, Kenzie is hoping to be included in this elite list as the first female to win a K&N Pro Series race. Kenzie's team has been making last minute changes to make sure her car is ready for qualifying. You definitely have to be more consistent and prove yourself um, week in and week out that you can do it. And you're just as strong, if not stronger, than the guy. Her speed issues land her near the back of the line. I mean, you still need, to, still need to come up a little bit more than you work. Start 25th and have to work our way up, so it'll be a lot of hard work. More cars to pass. Just yeah. more cars a lot, to pass. A lot of cars to pass. In a way, NASCAR is ahead of the curve. It's one of the few sports where men and women can actually compete side by side in the same leagues. Hello? How are you? Can see spirits clearly start to lighten as she greets fans before the race. A lot of people told me, you know, females didn't belong in racing or they would never make it. Maybe one would make it, but they wouldn't be very successful. But I mean, that's why I'm out here fighting for them. She's a girl and she's doing what she loves. She is nice and she's an inspiration to girls. There's two other women breaking the norm this weekend. 24-year-old McKenna Bell and 42-year-old Milka Duno. More and more women are embracing the sport, making up 40% of NASCAR's audience. My heart goes into it, watching it as a fan, just as much as any guy. As the fans take their seats, it's all about the competition now. And the race is on. Kenzie's having a hard time passing the drivers ahead of her. The crew watches her carefully, and tension is high for everyone, especially her dad. Is it hard to watch for you? Yes, very much. It's hard when it's, when it's not good. The driver in the lead blows a tire, and suddenly the race is up for anyone. As the sun begins to set in Dover, Kenzie's finally making some progress as she propels to 14th place. And with each turn getting closer to 150 laps, she's doing what she can to keep her eye on her goal. Kenzie doesn't win. Instead, the race goes to the driver of the number 22 car, Austin Hill. Did you have fun? Yeah. But she ends up in 14th place, a long way from the 25th spot where she started. 
Let me see. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Send the car. That's awesome. As the teams pack up and the season ends, Kenzie's presence here has already ignited a firestorm. Do you see her paving the way for other young girls? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I had one walk up to me today that's excited about maybe getting to be Kenzie's teammate next year. And so at the end of the day, you're just one proud dad tonight? I'm just her biggest fan. I've always told little girls, you can do anything you set your mind to. Um, especially if somebody tells you not to do it or you can't do it. I feel like that should be gas in the fire to make you fight harder to do it.